Today I'm gonna talk about Martin Frobisher. This is his portrait. Martin Frobisher was born in 1539. He was son of Bernard Frobisher, which is wife from the Knightley family of York. He was one of the five children. 1571, Martin Frobisher was employed by the Queen. December 1574, Amber Stelly made Martin Frobisher join Muscovy Company. Muscovy Company grants licenses for Northwest Explorers. June 7, 1576, Martin Frobisher sailed off to find the Northwest Passage to the Orient. June 26, they landed on Shet Island near Canada, but they were delayed by the wind. On July 1st, they landed on Greenland. Martin Frobisher decided to turn the ship back because of native Indians is not what we call them right now, but native Indians long time ago and Aboriginal people nowadays. And because of icebergs too. 1577, Queen Elizabeth subscribed, subscribed 1,000 loon to the Cathay Company owned by Martin Frobisher and lent the ship up 200 tons called the Eid. May 31, 1577, Martin Frobisher set out from Harwich with 120 men and three ships. Martin Frobisher thought that his lost of a sister ship was under the ocean. And he also thought that north of his country was Asia and south of his country was America. He also discovered an island and named it Queen Elizabeth. On June 20th, Greenland, Greenland was renamed as West England. In 1588, Martin Frobisher was chief command in the naval when it was England against the Spanish Armada. Martin Frobisher was knighted after the battle. On third Arctic voyage, Martin's wife Isabel died. On 1591, Martin married Dorothy, widow of Sir William Winmerpole. Martin Frobisher had no children. He was succeeded by his nephew, Peter Frobisher.